different reactions that followed the recognition accorded to Princess Oluchuku Owowo, the first Nigerian female graduate of Britain Royal Military Academy, Sandhurst, by Nigerian's First Lady, Senator Oluremi Tinibu. Mrs. Tinibu, who has carved a reputation for championing female gender empowerment, honored Owowo, a second lieutenant at the Asor Presidential Villa, where she hostiled the violent 24-year-old for her astounding performance and resilience throughout her training, describing her as an inspiration to the youth of Nigeria. The commandant of the Nigerian Defense Academy, Major General O.J. Ocha, who led Owowo to the presidential villa, was reported to have explained that Owowo was the best of the 200 selected cadets at the NDA. Following the reception, some Nigerians have commended the First Lady for recognizing the efforts and dedication of Miss Owowo as this will encourage young Nigerians to aim for the best in their fields. What the First Lady did is good just to encourage other female uh, military personnel, you sure get me? Yes. And also, uh, being a lady, per se, a military lady, and she went and, uh, out there and said, uh, so, so I think maybe for quite some years, I have not seen some military ladies that perform as such, and she did. So the first lady I need to encourage us, and to also encourage other military ladies to when they go out there for course, they will come out with excellent uh, uh, athlete results. For first lady to have come into a pro, you know a pro, uh, situation like that, that, that situation is real. Although the trailblazing officer suffered gender discrimination, which led the Nigerian army to test her physical and academic strength twice to determine if she was the right candidate for the training. Owowo has made history as she succeeded amidst other countries' military professionals that were in attendance. Definitely she deserves it, even much more than that, you know. Um, it's not easy to be exemplary, it's not easy, easy to be distinguished. And in a world where there is, um, you know, profound disparity, subtle dis discrimination um, against the female gender, and you find one of them coming out to excel, in a difficult trade profession like the military, um, of course, she deserves nothing else but her colleagues and excelling not just within the confines of her environment, not just within her environment, but of course, um, in a reputable um, institution like the uh, Sandhurst Military School, you know, um, a popular m school for the training of um, Nigerian military those days, and of course, reputable in the United Kingdom as well. I must commend the effort she has put in to achieve that great feat. Her outstanding performance is stunning and uh, I am happy with her. You know, uh, she has made history and she has made an indelible mark uh, in the Nigerian history. A, a, a laborer is worthy of his reward. That's what the Bible says. If she works hard for it, she has to be given, he has every right to, to, to have what is equal. Some citizens have described the Nigerian Defense Academy as being sexist for putting her through a second testing just to determine her fitness for the training. She did very well here, if you look at um, the report. Did very well in Nigeria, in, um, within the Nigerian environment and she also went abroad. Um, to justify that, you know, doing very well here uh, wasn't just a fluke. You know, so it was um, a further validation of her excellence, the fact that she's an outstanding lady. And such people um, deserve every um, commendation, every applause um, that they can get as an encouragement, um, not just to the female gender, you know, or, or to people like her, but... Um, as an encouragement for people to strive for excellence, realizing that if you excel, you'll be appropriately um, commended. It's an encouragement because we can see the disparity between uh, feminine and masculine. If actually a, a result comes out top, 
she, she deserves to be awarded. And I think that also will encourage the younger generation, the, the female gener generation, that there's no place they cannot be fit into. Is it that the Nigeria Army, is it that the uh, oil industry, in as much as uh, she has the capability and the knowledge to pass through any exam that has been given to her, she deserves the award. Uh, first of all, he has shown to the world the capacity and the potential of a woman. That uh, a woman cannot be relegated to the back seat of a kitchen. That he can do. You know, there's a saying that what the man can do, the woman can do better. So he has trying to showcase the image of Nigeria before the world. So that award is he deserved. So she deserved that honor. Because that was a doubt for the first time. Then the twice she has been proved true and in a real. Owowo deserves to be celebrated and encouraged to attain the highest level in her career. Her perseverance paid off in a spectacular fashion as the First Lady recommended her for a national award. The First Lady also used this opportunity to encourage the nation's youth to emulate Owowo and also desist from being destructive and problematic. She deserves the honor being bestowed on her by the uh, First Lady of Nigeria, Her Excellency Remy Tinubu. It is an honor she deserved, and it is, is expedient that she be given that honor. This is, her achievement has shown that actually Nigerian youth are not lazy. The fact that the First Lady invited the wife of the Vice President as well as the spouses of other service chiefs, ministers and the Inspector General of Police to accord Owowo a standing ovation confirms the saying that if a child washes his or her hands clean, the person would dine with kings and if we may add, in this case, queens. Stella Kahlo reporting for True Vision Online Television, the platform that democratizes the media space. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.